Hi, welcome to the MaintainX product demo. In this video, we'll show you an overview of the desktop and mobile app and how to get started. Create your first work order. All you need is just a title. Once created, you can pick this work order up and edit it from anywhere on your mobile device. Easily add a photo or take a photo from the field. You can even draw on the photo and annotate to highlight the problem. Next, assign someone to complete the work order. You can assign a team or an individual. Assign an asset and a location to your work order so that you can track the work history over time on your equipment and locations. Add category tags. These will be really helpful for your team to filter work orders in their to-do list, filter work orders in done lists, and filter reporting. Add a due date to your work order so your team knows when it needs to be finished. You can also add an option to create a repeatable work order so that you can build out preventive maintenance routines, inspection schedules, and any other scheduled work. While you can add more, we're going to go ahead and update this work order so that you can see when we push it into progress on mobile, it syncs in real time with everyone else in the organization. When I select comments on mobile or desktop, I can see an audit trail of everything that's happened in the work order so far. You can also collaborate directly from the field, add a comment, and your teammates can respond. You can also upload photos and annotate them in the comment section as well. You can see how the message and photo updates in real time so that you can collaborate directly from the field with anyone on your team. Let's say there was an issue in the field that needed to be resolved. Your manager can update the procedure and add work instructions on the go. Easily add procedures or forms from your team's procedure library or create a new one from scratch. Once selected, you can update the procedure and the work instructions will automatically update on the mobile work order as well. Here you can see that form inputs sync in real time as the work is performed. Here you can view and manage your assets on both mobile and web. View asset information, sub assets, work order history, attached files, and mean time between failures. Next, we'll show you how to organize your team. From the screen, you can invite users, put them into teams, and manage their permissions. Create working groups out of your teams so that you can batch assign work orders and create group chats to keep everyone on the same page. Next, we're going to cover parts inventory. From here, you can view all of your parts, the usage history, current quantities in stock, and more. If you want to see your work orders in a calendar view, simply click the calendar icon on both mobile or web. From your work order dashboard, you can select the filter button to manage which work orders appear on your screen. You can also view your work orders in table view on web only. Next, let's cover reporting. From the reporting tab, you can view all of your operational insights, 
across teams, users, locations, assets, and more. Create and manage your team's procedure library from the procedure library tab. This is accessible on both mobile and web. From here, you can create your own form templates and checklists using one of our 11 different field types, including meter readings, signature blocks, picture fields, multiple choice, pass flag fail, and more. From the meters tab, you can create and manage meters that are being used across your organization. Each meter allows you to create unlimited work order triggers. This will empower your team to create usage-based preventive maintenance schedules, automatically trigger work orders when certain values are met. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about MaintainX, feel free to reach out to our team and we'd be happy to help.